to everyone i'm greeting you in the name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth uh, today i just want to expose something abaninzi abacingba ayikho ibe ikhona tifunukuthetha briefly about the existence of a place called hell tifunukuthetha ngobukho okanye ngenyaniso yendawo yokuthwa sesihoko ekhona elindeleke abaninzi abantu abaphezu komhlaba mhlamba umyuzo zibuza umbuzo ubuthixo angayenza njani nalonto okokuqala sawusho nje ukuthi soko asenziwanga nguthixo uthixo nguthixo nenceba futhi onothando othanda bonke abantu bangabasindiswe bafikele ukuyazi nenyaniso so akasenzanga ngokwakhe isoko but i rebellion yenye ye archangels eyangu yingu lucifer esingu satana ngoku emangalela uthixo kubantu bakhe ngendlela zonke so i want to expose the truth or the existence of hell Dizo iqala ke eqaleni where does it begin so that sizohamba sonke ikhona ke indlela yokuphuncuka esandleni sika satana okanye yokusindisa ekubhujisweni okungunaphakade ithi bible kuncwadi ka Yohana chapter 3 verse number 16 when change Uye ova ukulithanda kwakhe ihlabathi ude wancama unyana wakhe omnye akuphela kwamzeleyo babonke abakholwa nguye bangabhubhi okanye bangatshabalali kodwa baye kuphilisweni okungunaphakade uthu verse number 14 for, verse number 17 for God did not send his son to condemn the world but the world may be saved through him So I want to expose hell. I want to expose the place called hell. Uh, Jesus himself he spoke about hell more than heaven. In the New Testament from the book of Matthew to book of Luke he spoke about hell 22 times. Therefore this place is terrible iyo ikeka and god does not want anyone to go to hell but he want everyone to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth that is why the bible said in the book of hosea my people perish because of lack of knowledge so i want to expose hell wherever you are you can invite your friends to come and listen to the truth that god is about to release so that no one can go to hell so that everyone may be saved okokuqala there were three archangels okanye kwakunengelo sezinkulu ezazilithemba emehlweni ka thixo igama lawo yayingulusifa ingumikhail ingugabriel sezimbini ke ngoku i archangels ezikhona emazulwini kumikhail no gabriel ulusifa owayengelosi eyayithenjiwe ngithixo seyawa egama layo ngoku lingisathana okanye umtyholi ummangaleli waba wa, ummangaleli kubazalwane emangalela uthixo ngendlela ngendlela so lucifer before he fall wayengumphathi 
Sbane Oganye, he was the light bearer in the heavenly realm. He was the chorus leader. Why you worship Lucifer? M. Zimbenwake, he had more than 100 voices, and the instrument is about thousands. Therefore, when he fell, Oganye Kaisiwa, Utiko, Oksiwa Umtu, Agaitati, a gift, Amnigayo, Na, Kotin, Raitata, Yo, Intambi, So, Oganye, Bubu Kakauli, Utiko, Betu, Ambega, Goye, Before Amnigelo gift. So, Kaisiwa, Usatana, Oganyo, Lucifer, Uwe, Nemit Ulo, Eminenti, That is why many songs. Outside there, many songs, even in our generation, many musicians are evenly being led or are controlled by Satan or by the Satanic spirit uh, because Lucifer or Satan now, he was a chorus leader in heavenly realm. He fell because he failed the test by having a pride. That is why we have a verse which says pride goes before destruction. Pride goes before destruction. Usatana ageko esuhokweni usemkatini pezulu uyofundaga kle in the book of Genesis chapter number 1 from verse number 6, from verse number 6, verse 7, it tells us clear when Utiko a recreator or a Sashula Umshaba Kunyene Zulu. So Satana decided to go in Mkatini Pezulu, Oganya Windao, a sitting as Gisi, a firmament or a vault, a Pezulu, quick clouds. He is there. He is not in hell currently. For three years and a half after the rapture of the Church of Christ Jesus of Nazareth, he will come on earth and rule the earth. That's where many people will say, this is the king we have been waiting for. This is the king that can rule us. So, I want to boldly say this. Satan, or Lucifer, he was here on earth before Kufige Umtu, or before God created a man. Lucifer was here on earth, ruling, because he was the trusted angel which God entrusted and put his hope unto. He was being sent from heaven to come here on earth and check is everything still in order here on earth. But the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 verse number 13 tells us clear that yes, Lucifer indeed ruled the earth before Adam ruled the earth. Which is why Satan tempted Eve Walinga oganyo walugusha umtu uguze atleime oganye athathe back i charge oganyo kulawula kwakhe phezu komhlaba when you read that kwincwadi ka Genesis chapter number 3 verse 1 wehle nayo that's where i bible ithi inyoka yaye yona yayinobuchopholo oganye yayi clever more than any other thing. When Satan was still Lucifer, he put aside some riches for himself. Ezekiel 28 verse number 4 and 5 tell us clear. That is why Lucifer or Satan has formed movements in this world which make people to be rich so quickly, to focus in prosperity. The movement number one he formed is the movement 
of Freemason. Freemason is a movement which allows a person who join it to give about himself about, and about the nation which he is born or he wants to lead. And Freemason allows many political views or many political parties in a country. It gives riches quickly, which is why many nations or nations zonke as Pesgom Slabangogo are being ruled by the movement of Freemason, which is originated from underground by the devil. Number two, there is a movement of Illuminati, which I always say it has destroyed the Church of Christ. Therefore, Yona, it deals with fame, with morality, with the mind, with focusing on yourself. You can look, world richest people are being controlled by these two movement businesses that are stable, that are standing, even in dark times, even sportmen or sports clubs, they are ruled by Illuminati. There is a fall of Lucifer. Yes, Lucifer was one of the three archangels of God. But the pride raised inside him made him to fall being an archangel, to be Satan, which means someone who won't repent. When you can repent and get forgiveness. El Kamalit Satana, someone who won't regret himself, someone who won't repent, umtonga soze akukuke, goba, ngumto ya ziyunyani, but agatani, tangabe kele lunyani. Therefore, ngumtu ongumangalele, or he is an accuser, someone who always says, I don't know. Yonkindo ibuza guye, he always don't know, which is why he is always able to come to some believers and to some children of God out there to the point that many are saying God does not exist at all and God is not fair. So, where is Ezekiel chapter 28 verse number 2? I will read in the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 verse number 2. When to umzegelo about the king, or it's a prophecy against the king of Tyre. Verse number two says, Son of man, say to the ruler of Tyre, This is what the sovereign Lord says. In the pride of your heart, you say, I am a God. I number one. I sit on the throne of a God. I number two the heart of, of the seas, but you are mere mortal and not a God. Though you think you are wiser as God, that is the fall of the devil. I will quickly read in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse number 12 to number 15. It tells us clear about the fall of the devil. Verse 12. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth. You, you who once laid low the nations. You said in your heart, one, you said in your heart, number one, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly, on the uttermost heights of Mount Zaphon, I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. The pride led to the fall of the devil or of Lucifer. Lucifer had a pride.
There is a verse in the book of Proverbs chapter number 16, verse 18, which says pride goes before destruction. Therefore, we must be as human beings aware of pride. We must be aware of what we are doing in this world. God did not make us to be pride of being human beings, but he made us to give him his glory back to him. Existence of hell or the truth of hell. What is hell? Intone isoko. Isoko. Ye judgment. Oka nyingu mkwebo. Ongu na pagate. Womoya. Abanga mameliyo utik. Oka nyabanga mshoneliyo utik. Abo moya ke. Because iti baipi. In the book of Psalms 104. God made angels to be spirits and made his servants to be flames of fire. Therefore, Lucifer, he was an angel of God. Therefore, he is a spirit. So, naye unomo ya bake anabo abangenisa kubantu bagatiko so that abantu bagatiko Banga kwazi, oganye, banga mkonzi, utiko, njengotiko, bakonze, usatana. Oganye, bamkonzi, utiko, koto banga mkonzi, to an extent that bakonze na yetwa, bakonze na banyo tiko, otiko, abazo batata, baba singele panzi, esuokwe. Hell is an external punishment of all disobedient spirit including people who sin against God, which is the Creator, who does not believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Hell is a place of torment. Because izono zonke Seza tetelelwa, oganye seza kolelwa, intwe zo sabantu eso okweni, aizo zona ba zenza ngoku, kotwa ile ntbi zono za kolelwa, e kalvari, ngo palala, kwe kazilika yesu krestu, wase nazareta, abantu bazo bebe patala, elo, elo chala, longa kolwa, kunyana katiko emye, epela kwa mseleyo, Bakolelwa kwizinto ezikhona nezibonwayo kulomhlaba ezingakwazi ukuthetha ezingakwazi ukuhamba ezingakwazi ukuva kodwa bakholwa kuzo ngoba bekhulele kuzo hell is a place of weeping or gnashing of teeth indawo apho khona isililo sakhona to the point that isililo sakhona Seeing all of that no one would want to hear. Ogulapo kuketlezo akona mazinyo. Apo amazinyo akona achiwayo. Like the dog that is not barking. Kotwe khagamayo. Everlasting fire. That is hell. No day. No night. No rest. No lunch. No water break. According to the book of Luke. Chapter number 16, verse 24. The reality of hell is evenly proved by the New Testament. Jesus himself, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, mentioned it 22 times in the New Testament. Hell is havoc or breaking of underneath the earth, which was formed by the fall of of Lucifer from heaven. Isaiah 14 verse number 9 tell us clear that 
hell was not formed by God, but it was formed by the fall of the archangel named Lucifer, Essing Satan Ngoku. Hell is caused by the rebellion of the devil, according to Ezekiel chapter 28, verse number 18. Iniquity and rebellion also took Korah and his friends to hell. Iniquity, ukeko, nonga pula pul, som velutiko, unga enzi, intwa itetayo, sol vili li zulga tiko, kotunga lpili, ngo kokpa lwa kwalo, ngo biti baipile, okholwa ilo, izule nkosi, wopila, esusunisake, kia mpomposa manzi, asebo mini, Obo nguna pagade. Okolo angu chesu. Agayo kufa. Kote wopila. Kuzekbe pagade. Ukeko. Oganye. Unga pula puli. Kwenzu kora. Na basto bobake. Ba amba. Ba eso wokweni. Be pila. Ngena. Yechelasi. Oganye ngena. Yomona. Enye yinto. Eingagi kakule. Umona. Kakulu. Uingagi. Ngoba, watata, ama tota, ayewi worship team, kotwa efuna ububingeli, because of umona, babebona ngati imuvu katiko aiseko when they are in worship. Therefore, ya funde kakwinuati inumeri, chapter number 16, verse number 33, Kora and his friend were taken alive and umslaba wavulega wabese wea bakinya bepila kunye nefemeli zabo nezindo zabo. Which is why jealousy you need to rebuke that spirit immediately. And in hell umlilo ozobe uchisa umdozo yeso okwe. Aingo umlilo Obasweyo, no. Aingo mlilo mshambi osuge samwe. But uzo bepuma kulo mtu ukona esuokwe. Achi iswe zizono zake azaziyo angazvumanga no kama esapila emshabini. Echiwa inyaniso atewa iva uba usindiso. Lolo abantu bonke, okanye inlela, yobu lungisa, e abantu bonke, zati inlebe zisiva, inlizi wikolwa, koto wakafu nukucho, ngomlomo wake, uguti nene, usindiso, namdi alfuna kwa ya mimpi. Ipa ipile ya mge, ya acho, uguti, there are groups which will go to hell. Abo kala abantu babalayo, gama kwala. Ngoba bantu, they are too coward. Banga mankwa laka kulu, abantu baguti. Abafuni ukolwa kwa Yesu Christu wa senazareta. Besiti, hinto ya belungu. Ayonto ya belu. Ivangeli. Hinto ya bantu bonke. Hinto ya slabati lonke. So, umli lozo buchisa bantu esu okweni. Bubu kwa la okokala. Na unga kolwa kwa Yesu Christu wa senazareta. Obe nkosi, o nkosi, oso ya kuba nkosi, lize lpele yesu ipagate. Londa auge uya ifumana kuinuwa tie numbers chapter 32 verse number 23. Eliti baipile umozis wake wateta watuma ninga ye nzilonto. Nia zilon bai sono senu siya kunifumana. Therefore, Umunga kor, ukutu Yesu yungos, u Yesu wafa, efele zono zako, wavuka, evugelba wena, uzupilu bomi, obu ngwele, kulom tlaba. Therefore, your sin shall find you, wherever you are. Sinja hanike isoko. Isoko siyafana no mlom. Itingu atika Isaiah chapter number 5 verse 14. Elaba fileyo. Lia extendwa. Therefore, kakukona abandabasa shumaelayo usindiso. Why? 
abasashumayela indaba ezilungileyo ezingobukho umkani bukathixo bayasivala bavala ukunwebeka kwesoko bavula imbobe encinci yobabalo lukathixo elithi izwile nkosi kwincwadi katitito umposti lu Paulo Sebalo Tito chapter number 2 verse number 11 ubabalo lukathixo luchilekile kubantu bonke ukuze abantu bonke basindiswe oluyala abantu ukuthi abantu mabaxhase okomhlaba behlonela uthixo sinje ngomlomo siyanwebeka siyavuleka second by second hell is being extended second by second hell is being extended so sinje ngomlomo ngokunwebeka komlomo kangaba uwenzisa lonto owenzisa yona Isaiah 5 verse number 14 tells us clearly hell is like a belly sinje ngesusu ithi ibhayibhile yami kwincwadi ka yona chapter 2 verse 2 uthi uyona ndakhala kuYehova ngesembilinini wenhlanzo kanye nesesusini senhlanzi wandiva so someone will be in that belly which is called hell paying for his or her disobedience absence of god that is hell many people when they are drunk they are not crying because they were obumnand no but they are they are feeling the absence of god they are feeling the torment when there is no god in a place it's a pit okanye ngumngxuma isaiah 14 verse 15 tells us clear verse 15 but you are brought down to the realm of the dead to the depths of the pit that is how hell is worms okanye impethu azifi and umlilo awuqimi Isaiah 66 verse number 24 tells us bayakuphuma bayobona izidumbu zemizimba yabo apha impethu zingafiyo umlilo ungacimiyo it's a fire and a brimstone umlilo nesalfa revelation 14 verse 10 it's a bottomless pit which is no bottom or no end revelation 9 verse 1 it's a darkness weeping and gnashing of teeth matthew 20, 22 verse number 13 what is happening to hell in hell there is a forever punishment or forever judgment daniel chapter 12 verse number 2 baya kuvuka banye bayebomini obungunaphakade baye kuvuka banye baye kulahlweni okanye baye enyu enyu kumnyezini elimnyama esithokothokweni sobumnyama apho kuyokuxexezwa amazinyo apho kuyoshixiza khona amazinyo abanye belila nokulila it's a punishment of knowledge and you don't do it because it is by people when not he walwazi ulwazi owalenza uyotyatyulwa imivumbo eminitsi so abanitsi besazinyaniso abayazi which is why many are being hired by the devil ukuthi bahambe bayephakathe emabandleni ashumayela ngensindiso bayothatha iziprofeto bahambe nazo bawuzifuka amaphansi kolwandle labo they will be punished too much by hell bazotsha kakhulu kumlilo wesoko ngobulwazi banalo kodwa abalenzi number 5 torment or pain of worldly love or lifestyle ukuhleba 
people are taking it as a joke. I will joke, but there shall come the day when Jesus Christ come and judge the world according to the word, according to his just fullness. Luke number chapter 16, verse 24, it tells us, Uguti zonwe zininzi ezabantu zila elwimini. Groups of people in hell. Jesus. Revelation 21 verse 8. It's fearfully abandaboigayo amagwala as I have mentioned before. Unbelieving abandabanga koloayo kwindabez lungi leyo. Abominable Oganye abomination is tabane, amasigizi, i homosexuality, etatwa as i technology or i fashion of this world. They will go and be consumed in hell. Is tabane, which are originary from the devil. Ngoba, efunuk besu tiko, obshungu, obkulugaku, which are from the demons that are in the spiritual realms. They are making many to think that it's a fashion. No, it's not a fashion. It is the spirit from the devil that has defiled many souls. Murderers, ababulali, fornicators, humongers, promiscuities, premarital sexual moralities, which is happening all over the world. Abantu, Aba tengsangom zima, aba kekezi, abenzi sex outside marriage, benga kukuki before time, labo, they are going to hell. Sorceries, aba tweleyo, aba kafuli, nabobongabantu, who are making money in a false, full way, ngenzela, ebobukogi, bek, Kena ubuchebi. Idolaters. Abanguli bezitiko. Liars. Amakok. Group number two that is going to hell. Revelation chapter 22 verse number 15. Dogs. People with the character of Izinja. They are going to hell. You preach or you tell them to repent from their sin. They repent now, but tomorrow they are going back. Njangenja ekapo mkapo ngoku. Iti ya kukabuko ukapa, ibesei ya utati ya uja back kwa kona. Therefore, that are the people who have the character of dog. Number two, sorceries, fornicators, idolatries. Mema o abashlid. Iso koge, as I have said, there is a way. Iko nindlela, yogu spepa. Oga nyiko nindlela, yogu ba usinde, ewe yenu kuso. Kanja nike, how to escape hell, according to the word of God. Ogo kala, Mwati Uchoane Oganyu Yohane Chapter number seven verse number thirty eight thirty seven to verse number thirty eight Jesus Christ Funde Kangol Shobo Keka Luku Gom Shao Kribela Ongona Mkulum Tendeleko. We mawiesu watanduluga e siti. Uguba uko oti anyanwe mageze kum asele. 38. Lowo ukolwa yukum. Njengoko osa choyo ispano. Kuya mpompoza imilambo ya manzi apili leyo. Ipuma embilili nwake. Njela. Yokbalega. Oganyo kusindisa. Eso woko Mwatu Yohane chapter 14 verse number 6. Uti uyesu kuye ndim indlela, ndim inyaniso, ndim ubongi. Aguko namye uzayo kubawo 
engezingamu kukolwa kukrestu yesu kwa senazareta enguye yetwa ongu mkali na mkabedelisi wakolo luitu nguye onamandla okshangu onamandla oksusa onamandla okulula abantu bagatiko pantwe sandla skasata lastly before I depart, there are chambers or there are departments or there are levels of a place called hell. Kune chamber, okanye, kune tilongo, okanye, kuna majele, amashano, alapa, ngapanzi, komshaba. Mane ngo asesele ngo belinye kwenze ki exchange by the time uyesu esentabeni ya se kolkota. Kwingwa tumate 27 kaeti eloi eloi la masabaktan oguti tikawam tikawam undishiangani na kwenze ka i exchange. So department Number one. Oganye chamber number one. There is a place called Tartarus. Second Peter chapter two verse number four. It tells us clear Ugubutiko Zangawazi Uguz Tonga Oganyu Guz Gotla Ingelosi ezonayo kuye Peter says so chapter 2 Peter chapter 2 verse number 4 when Lucifer fell he fell with other angels who are now demons who are now in operation these demons are everywhere in the world demons like Magog and Gog you find them in the book of Ezekiel chapter 38 and chapter 39. These demons are in operation when you see violence, when you see war. These two, they are active around the globe. There is a demon called James, demon who opposes prayer, who oppresses Christianity to the point that Christianity, they don't spend more time in prayer. People to pray a prayer without answers so that this one is oppressing them to the point that they doubt even the prayer which they are praying. This is the demon, El Teguiz Nzuku, La Vosa, I Doctrines Ninzi, as it is no, do not pray because Jesus prayed for you. No, this demon is active even in the churches. There are some spiritual or there are some attacks that are happening even to the saints, to the point that saints are against people who are teaching about the importance of prayer. Saints are against people who are spending their times in prayer. This demon is active and is holding imitandazo yabazalwan la emkatini pezo. Lo na uyalfumana in the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse number 13. There is a demon, demon of lust, demon of fornication, demon which has caused divorces around the globe, even to the leaders. That leaders are being tormented by this demon, making most preachers, especially in our days, that day before they go and preach, they are sleeping with more than 10 girls in the pulpit and start to minister to the point that the, the demon at least will rule the church to the point that many people have been deceived by such people. Lonial Fumana, 
idimon lenkanuko idimon lombulo kwincwadi wezekiel chapter number 23 it tells us of the two girls two women who were fornicators babetsala bantu from the world wide lona line demon enkhulu elibizwa ngoba imemeid spirit which is in the sea apha ngenhla intombe enhle ngezansi ifish okanye inyoka that one is taking spams and produce more sexual morality upon the young people that is the demon of fornication kube khona umolok child sacrifice i abortion sube unikela kwidemon elingumolok ase tatarus njengangoku kodwa khushiwe kwezinsuku zokugqibela akwi operation lono yalifumana in the book of second kings chapter 23 verse number 10 those are the demons who are in tatarus number 2 there is a place called abyss or bottomless pit where the dragon that old serpent devil or satan will be bound okanye uzoboshwa alahlwe khona for thousand years for iminyaka elikhulu in the second coming of our lord jesus christ now it is empty and it is waiting until jesus come with the church after seven years of great tribulation there is no bottom satan will be thrown there uzobe bheke zansi elila engafike zansi ngoba lo le abyss ayinayo i bottom revelation chapter 9 verse 1 and revelation chapter 20 verse 3 tells us clearly about the place called abyss number 3 as in gendasho there is a one chamber which was transferred paradise luke chapter 16 verse 22 tells us it was underground before the crucifixion of jesus christ because no one would go to heaven before the crucifixion and it was shifted when jesus was on the cross matthew 27 verse number 51 to 53 now it is in the second heaven where sun stars or galaxies are all holy saints are here in the paradise it was located next to hades or to sheol therefore ofileyo ngokwe ku kristo akayi ku throne room kathixo because alika pheliswa ihlabathi esikulo uya e paradise as a waiting room for the saints who died in the holy place or who died in a right position with god then number four, there is hate or hades or sheol jesus it's a little hell waiting room for all who died without christ yona we ifumana in the book of luke chapter 16 verse 22 to verse 31 is sheol okanye hides okanye isoko jesus this is why the devil shows some people among the world among the world even in south africa usathana ubonisa abantu abaninzi abantu abafayo kudala abantu abafayo bengazani no kristo ukuze aba baphilayo bakwazi ukubahlabela okanye ukuhlinza izilwanyana bebulala izilwanyana ngaphandle kwesathu behlabela abantu abafayo kudala kodwa incwadi ka Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 10 to verse 12 yasicelela kakhle ukuthi phakathi kophilayo nofileyo abukho ubudlelwane satana uyayazi bible nje ngibeyazi uye wathatha lento ukuthwa i mask 
wogomo buso babantu abaninzi ukuze abantu bakwazi ukuhlabela abo bafileyo bebabiza ngoba zi ancestors usathana esebenzisa verse elikwincwadi kama hipro okanye kuma hebere chapter 9 verse 22 ngendlela engeyiyo ngoba ithi bible ngaphandle kwegazi akukho ukuxolelwa kwezondo yofika ke abantu bakuthi beyiqota beyishintsha ngendlela ngendlela because usathana uye wahlebeza wamangalela uthixo ezindlebeni zabo lastly which is number five, there is a place called a lake of fire lake of fire okanye ichibi lomlilo lake of fire revelation chapter 19 verse 20 and revelation chapter 20 verse 15 wehle nayo it tells us clearly it is a final place of all wicked people indawo apho kuzothathwa zonke itatarus i abyss ne hades okanye shion ziyophoswa kwi lake of fire in the final judgment according to the book of revelation from verse number 12 to verse number 15 apha to yohane ndabona isihlalo esikhulu esimhlophe nalo wahleli phezu kwaso wayibalekelwa lizulu zavula incwadi nenye incwadi yavulwa iyobobo abantu abaninzi according to ibible ke kuyabonakala ukuthi abekho kule ncwadi yokuphila okanye kule ncwadi yobomi apho khoyo you can tell people more you can tell families you can tell your people ukuthi inene ikhona indawo ekuthwasisoko elindele bonke abantu abangamthobelanga uthixo logama besesemhlabeni ikhona kindlela yokusibaleka ntasekhaya ikhona indlela yokusibaleka mfo wethu ikhona indlela yokubaleka izoko usindise kwesizukulwana esigoso ngokuthi uthathe uYesu Kristu wasenazaretha abe inkosi nomsindisi wakho ithi Bible siyophunyuka kanjani xa sesidebisela okanye xa siyilizela usindiso olungakanana lensindiso yenzelwe nawe kulo ndawo kuyo yenzelwe nawe kulo ndawo kuyo ungazibaleli izolo lakho ungazibaleli ukuthi kwenzeka nempilweni yakho kodwa ungayifumana inkosi yamakhosi ikuthethelele okanye ixolele zonke izono zakho the only thing you can do is to take a decision take uthathe isigqibo that no one would understand ukuthi ufuna uchintsho uchintsha indlela ocinga ngayo uchintsha inhliziyo yakho and turn around ubheke kuthixo uthi bawo ndiyavuma ukuba ndingumoni and now amandla ukuziphilela ndizamile ngokwami kodwa ndiziphilelanga ngokwaneleyo to the point that namhlanje ngiyaguquka kufuneka lonto kwezinsuku zokugqibela ukuthi uthathe isigqibo in your own heart and make change in your life by believing in the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth ukholwe ukuthi uJesu wafa efela wena ukuze wena ungaziphileli kodwa uphilele yena owafayo wavuka kulo ndawo kuyo ungalihlabi khwelo these are the days apho kumele inyaniso ithethwe umuntu yayithatha okanye uyayiyeka kodwa uthixo ufuna inguquko kubantu bonke umuntu nomuntu anibe nobuhlobo esaphila emhlabeni abe nobudlelwane kunye nezulu esaphila emhlabeni lithi bible ubukumkani bamazulu busondele akho umuntu onokuphika 
especially opile kwelixesha laka lokho akekho onokuphika ukuthi nene uthixo ukhona kwayaphila therefore kwinda okuyo hlaba ikhwelo mta kwethu hlaba ikhwelo dadu wethu hlaba ikhwelo tata hlaba ikhwelo mama hlaba ikhwelo mto omtsha uyesu wasenazaretha angayitshintsha neyakhwimpilo ngokukholwa kuye repent and believe in the good news in Jesus Christ mighty name